a lot has changed over the last four decades in terms of technology, in terms of competitiveness in the marketplace, in terms of the regulation that faces us. And I don't see any reason why this change will not, should not continue. All we can do under these circumstances is to keep an eye on the needs of our customers and adapt with whatever resources we have at our command to fulfill these needs. Changing media habits is not something that's new. Uh, I remember in my own lifespan growing up with radio being the only source of media. We also had LP subsequently. Then came the transistor. We could carry anywhere with us. There were cassettes, there were CDs, and now all my entertainment is digital. Uh, we've seen the same uh, in transportation, say. Uh, airplanes came in, but that hasn't led to buses or trains or cars or two-wheelers. Even metros go away or go obsolete. Uh, the same happened in visual media. Uh, there was only Doordarshan, which led to cable. Uh, which led to DTH and OTT. So with the coming of one technology or coming of one source of fulfilling your needs, the others don't go obsolete. Uh, I think each one survives and which is why we chose to, uh, while being in DTH, we also chose to become OTT aggregators. work, my policy of principles are very simple. Uh, we hire the best people with the best attitude, uh, positive attitude, who are smiling most of the times. We inspire them to think beyond what they've ever thought so far. And then we empower them so that we can happily sip our coffee while they are performing or delivering and think, we think of more things to inspire them with. Mm -hmm.